Good evening. Tonight, we go after the story of an extraordinary personality. He's Salvador Dali, the great surrealist painter who sees the world through surrealist eyes. His toughest critics agree he is the greatest artist technically in the world today. Please welcome Salvador Dali. And now let's meet our first contestant. Will you come in and sign in, please? Ah uh, oui, 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 mais justement, euh, je vous ai déjà dit que moi j'aime parler toujours des choses qui m'intéressent le plus. Maintenant, c'est occupé. Art, a subjective expression of passion and emotion, creativity and imagination. Art surrounds us, it engulfs us, influences us, and we embrace it. We learn its rules, its techniques. But what happens when these rules, and everything else we've come to learn about art, are tossed out the window? Strange, interesting things begin to happen. Salvador Dali was largely considered the father of surrealistic art. He painted with his heart on the brush and developed his ideas in weird, unpredictable ways. Born on the 11th of May 1904, Dali's artistic endeavours began in his childhood through the nurturing and encouraging nature of his mother, Philippa. In 1922, Dali moved from his hometown in Catalonia, Spain to study at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts of San Fernando in Madrid. Having already garnered a reputation for his eccentricity, Dali began to experiment with Cubism and the art movement Dada. Though his skills developed and he was given much praise from fellow students, he was ultimately expelled from the school in 1926 due to accusations of causing unrest. In his life, Dali accomplished much in the world of art and proved to be surprisingly versatile when it came to the different mediums. He came to be an incredibly creative sculptor, with two of his most popular works in that form being Lobster Telephone and May West Lips Sofa. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. <laughs> 1929 proved to be a very big year for Dali, as he not only collaborated on a short film with one Louis Bunnell, but also met his muse and future wife, Gala. As well as this, he finally joined the Surrealist group and further developed what he was calling his paranoid critical method. In 1931, Dali painted his most renowned work, The Persistence of Memory, introducing strong surrealistic images that went hand in hand with this undeniable flair. These melting watches represent the idea that time is relative and rejects time as a rigid concept. Since its original conception, it has become the subject of many parodies and universal recognition. During the Second World War, Dali was able to live out the years in America, prolifically designing many products and artworks to make ends meet. At the conclusion of the war, he moved back into his home with Gala and continued to create surrealism in the way he wanted to. After a time, he developed a keen interest in mathematics and science, which greatly influenced the works that followed, as he began to integrate shapes more prominently into his paintings and other forms of art, particularly rhinoceros horns. Sadly, this was not to last. Though his death was sad, his life was that of a happy, remarkable man. His contributions to art and surrealism were beautiful and admirable. He will be remembered as a legend. What is surrealism? While Dali was considered a founding father of surrealism, it was a vast concept in its own right. Surrealism is the irrational combination of objects otherwise unrelated and forms that contrast and reflect one another in a way that is atypical or strange. The images are thought-provoking, the paintings inspired, and the ideas imaginative. Though surrealist works don't follow a structure per se, 
There are certain elements that usually appear in an artwork. Juxtaposition, surprise, perspective, death, as well as allusion to realism will appear, to serve as a contrast against any craziness or chaos that ensues. The Surrealist period began approximately in 1924 and concluded in about 1939. However, Surrealist paintings are still a continuous study, and people continue to develop and create Surrealist works. In their original conception, these paintings were non-sequitur works, meaning they did not follow or adhere to a linear structure or status quo. Instead, they were brought together through the disconnection of objects and shapes, and while this statement might seem contradictory, Surrealism was known to push past boundaries and ignore common sense. Other Surrealist Artists Salvador Dali wasn't the only Surrealist artist of the period. Others included André Breton, René Magritte, and Max Ernst. Each artist brought their own flavour of Surrealism to the table, and each was a master in his own right. André Breton is ultimately credited as the founder of Surrealism, even more so than Dali. He himself wrote the Surrealist Manifesto, which reads as follows. Psychic automatism, in its purest state, by which one proposes to express, verbally, by means of the written word, or in any other manner, the actual functioning of thought. Dictated by the thought, the absence of any control exercised by reason, exempt from any aesthetic or moral concern. André Breton Having already commented on the persistence of memory, I will now attempt to analyse two more of Dali's works. Dream caused by the flight of a bee around a pomegranate a second before awakening was painted during Dali's time in America in 1944. This was influenced by Sigmund Freud, as it explores the idea of a dreamscape, and has even been suggested to be an interpretation on the theory of evolution. The next painting was one of Dali's earliest. Honey is Sweeter Than Blood is a painting that represents Dali's childhood and adult anxieties and worries. Also inspired by Freud, Dali has somewhat liberated his obsessions to present the audience with an evocative piece full of scattered, oddly confronting imagery. Whatever the subjective intention, there is no denying that your thoughts have headed in startling directions. Psychic automatism, the technique in which artists attempt to close any conscious and eliminate any rational thoughts in order to access their full creative and surrealistic potential, is only one of the many ways in which surrealism was formed and mastered by artists. Memory, morality, and sexual desire were also themes commonly found in certain surrealistic works. Surrealism is a celebrated medium in the world of art and will continue to astound and break ground for years to come.